Bangalore-based SSS Defense has unveiled its indigenous submachine gun and designated marksman rifle. A Su-30 fighter jet can carry four Rudrum 3 air-launched hypersonic missiles that can destroy enemy surveillance radars communication stations and hardened aircraft shelters. The DRDO has confirmed that the MERV-capable Agni-5 missile can carry four nuclear payloads, each targeting a distinct location. Following India's inclusion as an observer in the Euro drone program, Airbus has expressed a strong interest in engaging India in its new stealth wingman program. The Tata Group and Airbus helicopters have selected Bangalore as the likely location for their final assembly line to produce H-125 helicopter, and the first made in India H-125 is slated for delivery by the end of 2026. The Indian Army's induction of the 118 Er June Mark 1A main battle tank has hit a significant delay, as deliveries has now been postponed to early 2029. The Indian Navy has announced plans to procure 12 extra-large unmanned underwater vehicles to revolutionize naval operations. The elite special forces from the three armed services took part in the Desert Hunt 2025 Integrated Tri-Service Special Forces exercise to ensure swift and effective response towards emerging security challenges. The DRDO has officially unveiled the Astra Mark III, which has now been named as the Gundiva Long Range Pavia missile, that has a range of 190 km when launched from 8 km altitude, and 340 km range when launched from 20 km altitude. The Astra Mark III boasts a 20% higher ramjet specific impulse compared to the European Meteor missile, suggesting that it could achieve greater speeds than the Mach 4 capable Meteor. Additionally, the Astra Mark III boasts an 18% longer burn time, that enables it to strike targets at greater distances. The Indian government has approved the manufacturing of an assembly jig tailored for integrating a retractable in-flight refueling probe into the Tejas Mark II. Following this approval, the Aeronautical Development Agency has initiated the procurement process and is collaborating with HALS Aircraft Research and Design Center, and this retractable telescopic probe will reduce aerodynamic drag when not in use, thus improving fuel efficiency and stealth characteristics. The DRDO has developed a prototype of an air-launched anti-radiation combat swarm drone, that is currently carrying out trials from the Navy's Boeing P-8I anti-submarine aircraft. The 150 km range air-launched anti-radiation combat swarm drones will weigh only 8.5 kg, and are compact enough to be deployed in numbers from the P-8I's internal weapons bay, and will leverage artificial intelligence to execute coordinated terminal phase strikes on enemy radar and electronic systems aboard naval warships. Airbus has expressed a strong interest in engaging India in its new stealth wingman concept program, that is designed as a fighter-type drone, to complement manned combat aircraft, and is capable of carrying out high-risk strike missions. To sway Indian interest, Airbus might offer significant technology transfer, co-development opportunities, and agreements for local production. Today's Top 3 Comments